Good morning and welcome to the Fife's Irish Future Series Finals 2012. Three finals this morning for you. As you can see on court, we started with the men's singles. It's Matthias Wigard, top seed from Sweden, against Maxime Michel, number two seed from France. Maxime this week sporting his new haircut, nice and short for his trip to Ireland. And of course being the two uh, outstanding players this week, by virtue of their seeding one and two. Matthias of course, quarter finalist at the European Champions back in Karlskrona. Early in the year, where he's beaten by Jano Jorgensen in two sets. Maxime has also had some decent results the first couple of tournaments this year. Got to quarterfinal at the Polish Open in Lubin in West Poland, Western Poland, at the end of August. But on paper for sure, Matthias certainly the uh, favourite for this match. Similar styles actually, both players. Both players like to play long rallies. Both players have that explosive change of pace when needed and both players been reasonably comfortable en route to this final Matthias 15 and 17 victor over Jamie Bonsels in the semi-final and a really good 15 and 12 victory over Jordi Hilbink of the Netherlands Jordi of course now living in Denmark and training in Denmark under Michael Kjeldsen Matthias beat his compatriot and clubmate Christian Pedersen in round two. Maxine obviously is number two seed, come through the bottom half of the draw. Fifteen and twenty fifteen and twenty two twenty winner over Marius Meyer of Norway. And of course beat our own Tony Stevenson in a close three set battle. earlier in the week so uh, on form certainly Matthias the man to beat for sure the Swede of course outside of the national centre in Sweden coaching now in Sweden and that's why he's here this week he's here with some of his club mates as their coach but uh while he was here, he just said, oh, I'll enter and see how I do. So uh, that's generally the way he's gone about his badminton career to date. So close start, 5-4. What we guard will certainly like to do is uh, draw Maxime into long rallies. But Maxime has been around a few years now and certainly has the experience to cope with Matthias. Never played each other before, so this is the first for both. Again, that's the example of that explosive power that Wigard has. Yeah, again, good smash into the body, Maxime Michel. Rally, the Swede, quite happy. 
in these rallies. Oh, just out. Cross court smash. That's what Matthias likes to do. Play these long rallies and draw the unforced error from his opponent. Following this men's singles, we'll have the men's doubles final. It'll be Scotland against Wales. And then the final match of the tournament, we'll have Ireland's own number two seed, Sinead Chambers, in action going for the double Sinead after winning the women's doubles last night. Yeah, good angle on the cross court. And that's the interval lead. 11-5 for Vigard. Going according to plan so far for the Swede. Five. Now there's a really healthy lead for the Swede. Maxim's touch at the net, just letting him down on that occasion. Defense from the Swede again. <sighs> Theus loves to play that cross court drop. Just letting him down on that occasion. Shake of the head. A settling point, maybe, for the Frenchman. Maxime needs to get a run of a few points now just to settle himself into this game. Very effective around the head. Matthias. Yeah, good explosive cross court smash. Good angle. Good accuracy from Maxime. Return, but it's a return that Matthias uses more often than not. It's certainly something that Maxime certainly has to look at tactically. Again, the explosive cross court smash. Fifteen seven. See that one again on the replay, I think. No, and uh, really, a feature also of the Swedes' game. He's just so relaxed on court, never feels pressure. Oh, lovely. 
probably net shot. And when he gets ahead, he just gets more confident, confident. Very hard to pull back. This game certainly drifting away from the Frenchman, 17-7. But like any game, if you can get a few points, get some feeling, get some confidence. Yeah, the shoulder's just dropping now in the head. You can see from the body language, it's clear. I think Maxine knows that this game is gone. in concentration in the last two games you can see from the replay oh just out now crucial here for Maxime to try and bring some momentum into the second game get some points get a good feeling it's game point for the Swede That's it. First game, pretty convincingly, 21-8 for, for Matthias Vigard.